Hey guys, so I look a wreck. So guess what we're gonna do? My makeup. It's so, so, so gloomy in the Joja that, I'm sorry, I'm just, you know, I'm trying to get some music in my AirPods, you know. It's, I got these lashes that I wanna try. Um, I don't know, I saw them at the Beast Pie store. They're called Natural Icon, Iconic in 30. And they look really cute, so I'm gonna try these out today. I'm trying to think of what I can talk about. Let's talk about, let's talk about boys. <laughs> um, boys, guys, men in general right now are just a hot mess. Can, can we just say, they are some of the most privileged, fragile people on this planet. That my chit chat here with me's are just the worst because I don't have anything to talk about because my life is so, so uneventful. Maybe I'll tell a story time. What's a story time, a story I can talk about? I feel like nothing interesting. The only interesting thing that's happened in my life I can't talk about because it's too fresh and I don't want to get like in legal trouble or anything like that. So I can't talk about it. <laughs> but best believe in the next like, in the next year or so that I will be talking about it. Let's talk about this semester as a whole. I'm gonna talk about this past semester at college because it's been, it's been I guess eventful. Going into this semester, me and my friends were like, yo, like, this semester is gonna be lit, okay? And lit it was. <laughs> and we went into the semester with such like a, a positive mindset. I've been working to change my major, which is not an easy process, let me tell you. They say that you don't need to declare your major until like sophomore, second semester, sophomore year, but that's a lie. You need to declare your major by the time you get into college because I am gonna have to take 18 credits to graduate on time. At this point, I might take a few summer classes just to like catch up a little bit. But yeah, girl, your girl had a tough semester as far as academics go, but your girl also has a 4.0. Um, and let me tell you, getting there was not easy. It took a lot of effort and hard work and yeah, I played around a lot and I goofed off a lot, but ultimately I got my work done by the time it was due. Um, I'm gonna make a video soon on how to get 4.0 because I think that a lot of people could benefit from it and I think that I had decent habits, decent enough for me to make A's in these classes. Also, switching to an art major is like it takes a completely different mindset. I've always been really creative. I've always been really artsy, but um, it's different because this is not the way that, Jean was saying this, but basically like in school and stuff when we're brought up, we're brought up to write and think like analytically. And in design, you definitely, definitely have to think analytically but it's still kind of different because there's really no right or wrong answer. Being a psych major and taking psych and math classes, like the answer that you arrived at was the answer. I know I look crazy guys, don't worry, when I put my foundation on everything, it will come together. It was like different because most of my work consisted of writing or solving math problems, but like this is like projects and projects that I have to get approved and you know, I'm having to just really, really think in a different way because I, it's no right or wrong answer, you know? It's like, what works and what will fit what the client needs best. And being a perfectionist and taking um, like kind of design classes is just not easy. Also, I saw this tweet that was like, Basically, if you get a 4.0 as a non-STEM major, like that's not impressive. And one, I hate when STEM majors always go around bashing other majors. And I just feel like, honestly, like if you are failing most of your classes, trying to be an engineer, like maybe you don't need to be an engineer. People are good at what they're good at and everybody can't be good at those things. And I bash someone for majoring in political science, theater, Spanish, like humanities, like that's just wrong because those classes do get difficult 
and they are difficult to some. I just know from singing my design class, a class that I took as being a little bit easier for me, there were a lot of people who struggled in it. And that's just because it's not for everyone. And I will say my design class was not easy. I can easily see how people could not get an A in that class because it's not just about producing a piece of art. It's about producing something effective and something that fits all the requirements. And it involves math, it involves um, technology, designer, like, just because you know how to do Adobe, use Adobe Illustrator does not mean that you know how to design something. There's a lot of principles that are involved that I've learned so much about. Um, I need to wet this brush really fast. Like I was saying, I think a lot of times people don't give those more creative majors. They don't give them enough credit. And I think that that's wrong because you should not put down anybody else's accomplishments. Sorry that you didn't get a 4.0. Um, that's on you. <laughs> also, this color is, well, it matches my hand, but like my chest is pretty pale, which is annoying because then I have to put the foundation on my chest. It just, it's the struggle over here. Um, let me think. But yeah, anyway, aside from academics, you know, which was definitely a learning experience, um, I, ha I have been a lot more social. Um, I'm, I'm like pretty much like I'm a really social person that's why that a lot of people do know about me but honestly freshman year I just kind of like stuck to hanging out with my friends and like also because of QDT I didn't really get out much but this semester I went out a lot more I went to a lot more parties um, I went and just kind of like explored things went to places that I've never been before um, when you live in such an amazing city like DC, it's important to just explore, like, you never ever know what you may see. Also, I got out of my comfort zone a lot and I went places by myself, which is something I hate doing. Um, like I said, me being such an extrovert, I thrive on other people and I have learned that I can't do that my whole life. I've also learned a lot about myself and the way that I work and what makes me itch and what makes me smile. Um, so that's pretty cool too. What else? I've also definitely become more independent, like college in general, when you're away from your home. Um, and you, you know, don't live with your parents or near your parents and they can't just rescue you in every situation. You really do learn how to be independent. And that is something that living in the dorm that I live in now like I really have to like provide for myself like I have to cook for myself I have to clean and things like that that I didn't really do freshman year because I lived in a communal dorm with no kitchen so like I ate in the calf and like people were preparing food for me but this semester you know I had to learn to do that on my own and to know like what grocery shopping was okay and what grocery shopping wasn't and like what to purchase and how to make sure I'm still eating right and I forgot to part my face as I do every time I film one of these. Wow, I'll show up. And I'm gonna be at all the things, so. Let's bake. Um, I have had opportunities out of this world, which I also feel like I can't talk about, <laughs> but just know I've had some very big opportunities. Um, I have cut people off. I have had new people in my life. I have learned that there are people in this world who are just so toxic and there are people who want to always bring you down and you can't let them. I'm trying to think what else happened this semester. Any crazy stories? Nothing crazy has happened really. I mean like there has been some things but I can't talk about it yet. Well, guys are really thirsty. That's something else that I've learned. It's around this age like oh my god just leave me alone <laughs> how hard is it to leave somebody alone when they ask you to well i think that i've definitely grown a lot as a person this past year and this past semester really this past semester has taught me so 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 much sophomore year so far has been so good to me i have worked so hard like i'm just really proud of myself and where i am now and like who i've become you know speak that positive energy into advance and like into advance what? what am i talking about speak that positive energy put that positive energy out there and you will receive it i'm telling you mm -hmm. i remember when i used to be known for my eyeliner like 
people in school would always be like, oh, I should've never eyeliner. But like they would know me for like having just like bomb eyeliner and I rarely ever wear it anymore. Wow. Crazy, huh? Doing eyeliner on my eyes is such a struggle because my eyes are two different shapes. So my eyeliner never comes out right, but it's whatever. I'm gonna try these lashes out now. I'm kind of nervous, but I feel like they might look cute. I just don't want them to look like too much, you know? I didn't really want my face to look beat, but like it looks beat now. It's whatever. I'm back, and I actually like them. They're actually pretty cute. It's just they're a little long, but I'm too lazy to cut them now, and it's kind of too late. And I'm gonna smudge one of these colors just under my eyes a little bit to open it up. And then I'm also putting it in the corner. Actually, I'm gonna put the orange in my inner corner. Um, also, if you guys have any questions about college, I know like decision day is coming up soon for some like early decisions. So feel free to ask me any questions you have. If you're trying to get into school, if you're trying to go to Howard, if you're trying to go to any school, like I can definitely help you. My mother, you need to read you an, read an essay and like kind of tweak it, or if you just have questions, like, well, maybe, like just this love mission thing. I really only care about it on my tip, my tip of my nose. The NYX Lip Gloss in Angel Food Cake. Yeah, I don't have time to lay my edges. That's all. I cannot believe I beat my face and I didn't even want to beat my face. So if you have any questions about college, feel free to comment them below. DM me, tweet me, I got you. But I have to rush. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye. <laughs>